We've had some cooler temperatures lately, so I thought what a great opportunity to make some stout braised short ribs. I'm also going to do a risotto with asparagus tips and creamy Gruyere cheese. So let's get started. All right, here's what we have for the short rib recipe. I have these great bone-in short ribs, which I season with salt and pepper. Uh, we're gonna add a little uh, beef base, about a tablespoon or so of chopped uh, garlic. We also have some chopped parsley, sea salt and pepper. These are some chopped carrots that I did and some onions. And I also have a dredging flour here. Uh, plus we also have the two bottles of the Guinness Stout beer with a little olive oil. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this all together. I have some seasoned dredging flour. Uh, it just has some smoked paprika, some salt, and some pepper. We're gonna go ahead and run our short ribs through this. What this is gonna do is help them get a nice sear when I first start them. And then they're also going to help thicken the sauce just a bit. Cheers. All right, let's have a look. Got a nice boil here. Looks beautiful. That bone is already separating from the meat. I'm gonna throw in just a little bit of parsley. Give that a mix. Stick the cover back on. And we're gonna set this in a 350 degree oven for about three hours. All right, so on to the risotto. And don't be intimidated because people seem to think that making risotto is like this type of technique that you seem to master, but it's really not. It's actually quite simple if you follow the right steps. So let me show you how. All right, onto the risotto ingredients. We've got a little bit of avocado oil. I have one and a half cups of arborio rice. If you're gonna make this amount and you wanna make sure that you have plenty of uh, chicken stock on hand, and we'll get into that just a little bit later, I have some nice asparagus tips, shallots, a little white wine, some parsley, and this amazing creamy Gruyere cheese that we're gonna use. So let's get started. My rice is starting to brown. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. What's so easy about this is, we've all made rice brownie, right? So the process is really the same. You uh, brown your rice in butter or oil uh, before you add your liquid. Same thing. Okay, this is looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I have about six cups of warm chicken stock. Um, and earlier I said if you're gonna make one and a half cups of rice, you probably need about four and a half to five cups of this. So just make sure that you prepare at least six to seven cups. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to add this stock. One half cup at a time. During this process, I'm gonna let the rice completely absorb the liquid before I add more liquid. So you can see it's pretty much absorbed all of that already. And I'm gonna stir this constantly in between uh, putting the liquid in here.
Okay, after spending countless minutes of standing over this risotto and stirring it and adding water, I think it's finally ready. So I think here's the, the frustration is uh, people try to cook risotto and it just takes forever. I mean, it's a process uh, and it takes a while. I mean, I use that entire six cups and I actually had to go back and add a little bit of water to it because it wasn't completely uh, exactly the way I wanted it. I'm gonna go ahead and add this Gruyere cheese to this now since it's just about finished and I'm gonna stir that in. All right, it's been a few hours so let's see how our short ribs are looking. Wow. See how that sauce is just turned into almost like molasses. They're just falling off the bone here. We have the super rich, dense flavors in this sauce here. Beautiful. So let's take these in our risotto and let's put it on a plate. So let's see how we did. Looks fantastic. I don't even need a knife. Mm. Wow, that sauce has just been reduced almost to a syrup. That meat is so tender. Amazing. That's how that one goes. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we can all go on this crazy journey together.